Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Good okay, evening everybody. It's uh, Sunday the 1st of December and I'm out. It's about maybe around 20 past five in the evening. Chilly, but nice, clear not windy I've got my hide set up as you can see I'm on the rabbits tonight my rabbit permission they're out there somewhere hopefully they will be soon there's a hedge line about 30 yards in front of me over to about 40 yards that way I'm saying that way so I'm sitting here for a while see how we get on I've just pulled up the car so obviously they've scattered the cars there so not be out from not be out if, uh, excuse me might not be out for a while, so um, I might have to give it a bit. This is um, got my crown tonight with the Excite 4K on, ergonology bracket with the the ATM ballistics rangefinder. The crown's wearing its um, wearing the barrel from the Dreamline because I've had the Lothar Walther barrel shortened to 350 mil to make the Dreamline into a ball pup um, with the bottle adapter. It's got the um, it's got the fantastic silencer from Ian Newman, um, aka Blade. I'll put a link to all the kit below in the description. Shooting uh, JSB Exacts in 4.51, the heavies, not the 8.4s, the 10.3s. Um, so hopefully, I'll get a few bunnies out there in the dark. Okay. I might move around to see how I get on. I'll be I'll be a couple of hours here, and then I'll uh, might shuffle around a bit. So I get on here. Okay, speak to you soon. It was uh, getting down to a couple of degrees by the time the first one appeared. Uh, about an hour and a half after I got there, I was really getting cold. Then quite straightforward shot though. Not a breath of wind. Absolutely perfect shooting conditions other than it being bloody freezing so first one 39 yards straight between the eyes quite straightforward shot I'll have to take him through the, between the eyes it's a straight root one to the brain there it's lights out for him just ignore the date on the, it's not the 12th of January it was the 1st of December but I did the um, recent update on the X site and it's obviously switched it back to the American system of month, day, year um, I only noticed after I went through the videos at the end so now we have about 8 minutes of sat watching this bloke crouched in the undergrowth waiting to come out, I've sped it up if you look at the clock ticking up um, I had to sit and wait for ages for him to come out, 7 o'clock, wondering if he'd ever take a step forward, waiting and waiting and waiting, and then eventually he decides it's uh, he's not going to sit there any longer, and he's going to jump out, so patience pays off in the end, but uh, you've really got to be patient with airgun shooting and rabbits. Can't, I didn't want to take a risky shot there, it was a lot of movement. I wanted him waiting for to come out and it looked like it paid off in the end. And there we are. And there he goes. So that was two in the bag. I've been there for two hours at that time and I was bloody freezing. You'll see by the little video at the end, the ice on the floor. It was uh, just getting too unbearable, the cold. Uh, wrapped up fleece, flask, everything. But nothing else came out because Charles makes an appearance at 7.30 and decides to do a tour of the site and puts everything to bed. So that's when I decided to give it up and go home. Okay, I'm just picking a couple of rabbits up, shot see 
damage that they're doing. Gotta be careful where you're walking, really. One. Dug the bloody place up. And there's my crown with the brace of bunnies frozen bloody solid luckily Charlie didn't get to him before I did so that was that on the first now we're over to the 14th okay hello everyone it's uh, Saturday the 14th of December it's about maybe quarter to two something like that I think I'm out of my rabbit permission and it is windy so what I've done is I've uh, I pulled up by the grass bank that is shot before uh, I'm gonna lie and shoot along it because it obviously the winds blowing from the left towards the bank on the opposite side so hopefully there'll be a bit of a um, bit of a lee this side because it, it really is windy <coughs> um, so uh, I've got my Rapid, 20 cal Rapid, and the XI on it. So I'm a few hours out here, hopefully sitting into when it gets dark, about four o'clock. Um, I didn't know whether anything would be out at the minute, but I can see a rabbit down there actually, about 30 yards away. So I'm going to try and unpack everything as quietly as I can. That's why I'm sat in the car, because uh, it won't be able to hear anything if I got outside, because the wind across the microphone... So I'm going to um, lay on the bipod on my shooting mat, keep low because the wind chops across. And normally, if you're on a bipod, um, low down, you sort of there's a bit of drag across the floor where the wind's not as fast, so it can keep you down in that sort of lee, lee zone at low level. Now I just wanted to show you something. Um, it's a new magazine for the Rapid from um, SMW Engineering. Um, 3d printed one 33 pounds um, I bought mine um, and didn't read the description as I never do on eBay and um, it doesn't work with scope rails which I use so I was trying it wondering why it didn't fit um, and I thought it looked like it just needed a little shaving off so I shaved a bit off it uh, with a knife and it fits perfectly and I contacted Stuart at SMW and uh, told him that I'd had to shave a bit off and then he said um, it does say in the description and then obviously then I realised I'd been a bit of an idiot then and not read it properly. But I did apologise but um, but he did say to me can you send me the dimensions of the magazine now you've trimmed it and um, and he'll re redo them. So I did and then he sent me one which is this one um, to try in the new new dimensions 20 cal 17 shot. Um, and uh, it fits perfectly so kudos to Steve he could have just called me an idiot and left it at that but he actually sorted it out so um, I'll put a link in the description below the video if you want to pick one up he makes all sorts of things um, like Picatinny rail clamps for the Dreamline tubes and also barrel clamps include incorporating a Picatinny clamp or whatever um, for Dreamlines and Streamlines and things like that um, so I'll put a link to his uh, to his eBay shop in the description below. Okay, I'm going to get out now, see if I can try and shoot straight or work out how much windage I need to add. I'm trying to keep the distance down to 25 yards or so this, in this wind. But if I keep low on the bipod, it shouldn't be too bad, actually. Um, that's why I bought the 20 cal, because the 20 cal's got a really good BC on the pellet, about 0.03. Um, so it's not affected by wind as much as like a 177 would be. <clears throat> okay. So I'll get on. I'll speak to you soon. As you can hear, it's bloody windy. Really bad, if you remember it. I laid there for a while, watching a bit of wildlife. A load of field fairs about. I have to watch them in action. The sun was shining, but all it was doing was lighting the place up. There was no warmth off it. Bit later on, watching the robin coming and going, freezing cold, 
I was full of cold as well, as you can probably still hear. So after a bit longer, about an hour, I see a couple of rabbits. These are like 65 yards away. I've been playing about with the gun at 40 yards, which is where that patch of earth is at the front. Um, but these are pinged them, they're like 64 yards away, just far too far in those conditions to even think about it. So I went off, grabbed myself a cup of coffee, waited till dark, came back. Here we are, 10 past 5, nice and dark now. It's really windy, they're just not coming out at all. Um, just seem to just poke their head out of the burrows for a bit. So the first one ping him straight in front of me try and bring the laser down there you are 32 yards straight forward enough I actually thought I'd missed this one but um, it was in the burrow when I went over and at the end picked him up Next one is over to my left. Uh, wind just seems to be coming and going a little bit. Some some bits it's worse than others. I ping him. 31 yards, nice straightforward shot. Just give it a little bit for the windage to the right, as obviously the wind's coming from my right to left at sort of um, sort of three quarters into it. It takes him no problem with the rapid. never moved again that was lights out straight away that one let's have a quick scan for the others nothing else that's at quarter past five the next one out in front of me about five minutes later just seen him through my night sight sentinel my scanner a uh, great bit of kit that is absolutely fantastic for air gun shooting if you get a chance to pick one up brilliant thing ping him twenty six yards nice and straightforward so directly in front of me again down he goes And the next one, or the last one, is over to my right. So I'm just uh, scanning around and around. And this is like 45 minutes later. You just come out and trundle to my right hand side. It's a bit further away. This is a masterclass hour not to set yourself up for a shot though. Because he's over to my right at 90 degrees. I'm sort of laying at 90 degrees on my shooting mat. Trying not to put my jeans on the wet grass. So I'm sort of bent round on the gun, leaning over it, make a mess of the rangefinder, push it out of its bracket. So I have to try and hold it in position while I'm propping the gun up, while I'm trying to get a read in. So just for the sake of not getting wet, I make a right hash of this. So I get there in the end though, promise you. The rabbit was really patient, I'd like to thank him for his patience. He was uh, very understanding. Definitely not 85 yards away. So come on, let's get sorted out now. Right, swung round. Let's get sorted. Get the bloody range finder sorted out. If you notice, it's horizontal um, because I've got enough room to swing the bracket round on the uh, rapid. So I can, it's easier to have it horizontal because you get a better, more accurate reading on rabbits more than anything. Here we are, 46 yards. Bit of a breeze. Let's have a zoom in. Let's just get the infrared light powered up a bit more. It's on its lowest setting. This is a bit further away. Here we are, it's a bit brighter. So now what do we do? Don't allow enough windage. 
put the pellet straight in front of his eyes. And luckily he was uh, decent enough to hang around. And this time, now I've seen how much windage to give it, I'll do it properly. And take him. So there we are. Quarter past six, I laid there for another 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And then it starts to rain and rain and rain. So I threw everything in the car and called it a night. Bloody weather. Can't wait for summer, I don't know about you. As of today, I'm uh, only about four or five subs uh, subscribers away from 2,000, which is absolutely amazing. So um, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share, because I'm going to be doing a giveaway when we get to 2,000 subscribers. Um, something I get asked about a lot. I've decided to give it away as a bit of a prize. So stay tuned. I should be here in the next few days. Okay, safe shooting. Have a great Christmas. And a happy new year. Stay safe. Bye for now.